And you mentioned that your book isn't just full of academic theory, that there are very practical steps that we can take. Can you just share one step that we can take to become more time affluent? Sure. So once we've identified the time traps that get in the way and make us feel time poor, which I will just briefly outline as some of the points we've already talked about, our technology gets in the way of having us enjoy our leisure. We focus too much on money and work and not enough on time. Once we identify these steps in our own life, it's then up to us to find or sorry, to use strategies to have more and better time. So I talk about three strategies in the book, which I'll outline very briefly and delve into detail on one of them. The first is finding time. The second is funding time. And the third is reframing time. So finding time is what we just talked about, which is identifying where in a day you mindlessly engage in activities, like spending too much time on social media, and deliberately limiting those mindless activities and replacing them with something more productive or meaningful. Like so you're saying we got to cut back on the Facebook and the Insta. <laughs> yeah. And this is very difficult to do because the whole point of technology is to pull our attention. That's the business model. So we need to make sure that we're being very active in our control over our technology. 